what is up guys welcome back uh, we are back on the broadster midnight mass was a blast they should put that on a t-shirt but eight, anyways uh, we are getting back into working on the broadster um, we are taking all the window stuff out um, we just did that side over there took all of the glass out uh, the 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 rail the the arm on it we took out the locking mechanism because they don't have a roof you don't need locks anyways uh so now we got to do the same thing on this side the plastic stuff is pretty much just trash on this side we'll redo all this later and i just realized that while we were taking out the other side we don't need window cranks so now we're gonna have to make a custom door panel cover that up we're, again we're gonna be shaving this whole top rail off including the locking mechanism so I disconnected it down in there and we're gonna be filling this in so stay tuned as we jump into this you guys can see this but we got a couple 10 millimeter bolts that we're gonna get out of here or nuts I should say holding in the arm for the window this one the glass we don't have to worry about because when I cut the top off I right here I put the top of the window when I was cutting the edge of that it nicked the glass and shattered the window so then we just had a big mess to clean up, but Jesse got that one done. There's still a little bit of glass in the door, but once we strip all the stuff out of here that we don't need, we'll go back in and find detail and clean up all the inside of the door. Um, again, we are going to be shaving, I don't even know what you would call this, the window track, uh, window opening, but either way, I didn't find any videos on it, but online so I don't really know what to call this video other than we're shaving some stuff uh, leave it down in the comments if you know what this is called I, I don't know necessarily the window track as this is not a track get that out I think we're golden guys need parts let me know get all this stuff out of the way I'm gonna need a couple a screwdriver real quick and we'll get all that stuff all unhooked I know you guys can't see down in there but I'm gonna try to do the best I can with showing you there is an arm attached to this that I'm trying to disconnect because we don't need it anymore and what I'm doing is making sure that it's set in the unlocked position before I do all this so give me one second I can't see it's hard to see it might look a little funny on the camera but that's what I gotta do to get in here okay Turn that off there's the lock <clears throat> now I'm also gonna disconnect it right here from the keyhole so you can't accidentally lock it Now 
on that other piece down here I'm not sure how that one comes off I know it's like a clip of some sort but I want to make sure that I'm not locking that I'm trying to just break that arm off because we're never going to use it again so the test yep we're good didn't need that stuff anyways it's kind of funny how the LED does that on on a camera because if it's facing something yeah, you can kind of see it either way we got that all out going to be sanding this down real quick for a in the drill. guys midnight mass was a blast i love seeing all the car old cars like that it, i'm i'm a hot rod guy even though i don't have one like I, my passion's hot rods and stuff like that street rods all that cool shit v8 um that's why my truck is the way it is with the flat paint and the red rims the 20s that are on it are just temporary stay tuned for that video it'll be a short video but um i'm getting my red and white rims blasted uh garnet blasted and getting powder coat um but there'll be a video on that i mean like you guys have seen the truck with it before but these rims are going to be like a 2.0 version of it as i only just painted those on but now they're getting stripped and powder coated so they'll look real nice
got all this stuff sanded down. Now it's time to make a template. I think I'm gonna shave this off by itself and then I'll come in here and cap the rest of this off.
go just fine. I'll have to roll the edge a little bit on the other side. But you get the idea, right? Shave that shit off. I still gotta cut some off at the end. There's way too much sticking out. But we're getting there. Slowly but surely. We'll be right back. We got one side in. Dang, Bobby. All right, guys, so we got the other side tacked in. Um, we got to keep tacking it all the way around, but I think I'm going to stop for there because we're going to go in a different direction. I was going to try to get a bunch of stuff on this done and painted before one of our shows that we have, but I think we're going to go a little further and we're going to shave off the window and then we're also going to cut this out right along here. So I'm going to have to have fabricate this piece so it's mounted to the same egg location. So I could keep my mirrors in the stock spot, but when you open the door, the mirror is going to stay and the door will come open and it'll just be flat right here. We're just going to cap the rest of that off. Like on the other side, you can see that I'm going to have to make another piece. I mean, it is what it is. We're already this far, so why not uh, do something a little bit different? Again, we're just going to come in here and cut this piece out. I'll box this whole thing in. I'm gonna, I got some square tubing that's that will fit in this channel that I can, I can have something to weld to so this will appear to be in the stock location until you open the door. It'll be something a little bit different, but why not? Let's do it. I had a couple of friends over yesterday. We were having a meeting about the car show and we were all looking at it, going through some ideas and basically when you open the door this piece right here is just an eyesore it's dangerous it's sharp so when you open the door this is just going to stay in right where this is at and the door will be all flat so let's get to cut
come in here with a sawzall instead. I'll try to just keep that line nice and straight. I'm gonna grind out these welds real quick. There's some on the inside too. But for the most part, I'm just gonna try to keep that flat. Let's just get rid of the drip rail too. up this whole edge clean up the bottom part right here but for the most part I'm gonna jump over to the other side cut this all out finish that side and then come back and do this side got the die grinder out with a cutting wheel I'm gonna just cut these welds out real quick
I just wanted to take a moment right here in this part of the video to thank everybody that is supporting the channel. And if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button if you like the content. I also want to give a huge shout out to our Lifestyle Podcast. As you can see in this video or time lapse, the Mazda truck on the back of the shirt. Um, they have awesome shirts. So I just wanted to say thanks again. Well guys, got the cover all tacked in, like tack tacked in, took a while. All of it's tacked in. We got the pillar post or whatever you want to call it. It is tacked in at the moment. Oh dang, the mirror's going to go back on there. I just got to tack all this stuff in here cap the end of that put a piece of flat bar all the way down this but for the most part this one's done i just gotta sand it all up in the edge i'm letting it cool right now that shit took a minute but there to be different we cut the the rain gutters off we cut the post off attached it to the window pillar now we got to do all the other side but I, I think that's gonna do it for this video um, stay tuned next week as I'll probably have most of this stuff done for this section that we're doing here and probably get that all put in uh, but if you guys are liking the content and you want to support the channel head over to jfab mini trucks sorry I lied jfab-minitrucks.com and uh, support the channel buy some gear some merch some C notches Fantini kit front bag bracket kit um, we got hats I'll be posting some new flags up uh, here very soon like these not these borderline ones but like that uh, three by five flags but yeah just remember guys Dreams are only fantasy if you're not willing to put in the work. Catch you on the next one. Yeah. Been about time that we're going away. Been about time as a whole nother day. Put the heat on to the Tetons with the neon you can lean on, never get beat on, beat on, hey. But you don't even listen, huh? But you not even wishing, huh? You just keep on fishing, huh? Wonder where we go, we don't even.